Hey there, I want to talk to you about how to put your dodecahedron together, okay? So this week, we're going to be working on getting our dodecahedron put together. And after you have your faces colored, and you also have the, um, um, where you have your eight standards of mathematical practice written on eight of the faces, um, for example, I'm using a student that already has theirs finished. What you're going to need to do is to cut around the circular region of your pattern that you have. Okay, so back on my kidney table, I'm going to have a spot for scissors. When you get the scissors and you cut them out, you then put them in the used scissor box. Okay, so you cut these out, and then of course you'll have 12 of these. And then what you'll do is you'll take the flaps and you will crease them on the line just like this look at this see how this has been creased folded it and you'll do that all the way around each one of your patterns so here's an example of just two of them that have been creased so after you've done that with all of your faces then what you can do is you can put those things together okay you'll put them together and hold them like that right there and then I think the easiest way to get them taped together is just to use the transparent tape and put it perpendicularly across where you're putting your sides together okay so there's my face is put together and then I could tape across it like that and then what you'll do is you'll just keep placing them together and it will build itself. The only thing that you want to remember is you don't want to tape the last faces together until you've put some yarn down in your faces. You could even go ahead and get started with, you know, taping some yarn inside one of your flaps as you get to going. So this will hang out of your three-dimensional shape. Okay? All right, I hope this helps, and good luck with your dodecahedron.